Question number 14. Paolo makes a sequence of numbers. He chooses a starting number, which we don't know, so that's a question mark, and then subtracts equal amounts each time. The third number in his sequence is 45. The tenth number is negative 32. We need to figure out what's the first number in his sequence. Now, this is quite tricky. What We've only got two numbers to go on, 45 and negative 32. So what we're going to do first of all is figure out the big gap between 45 and negative 32 and see where that takes us. Well, if we do a number line down here, if we put negative 32 at the lower end of the number line and 45 at the upper end of the number line and then 0 somewhere in between, we can figure out the big gap. Because 0 to 45 is just 45 and 0 down to negative 32 is just 32. If you put those two smaller gaps together, you'll get the big gap. So 32 add 45 is basically what we're asking for. So 32 plus 45, what is the big gap? 2 plus 5 is 7, 3 plus 4 is 7. So it's a total gap of 77. So what we need to do is realise that this big gap of 77 needs to be shared. But how are we going to share it? Well, we need to figure out how many smaller gaps there is. Now, you might count the boxes and say, well, there's one, two, three, four, five, six boxes. So you might think that you need to do 77 divided by 6, but actually you don't. It's not how many boxes you're sharing it between, it's how many gaps. Because from 45 to the next box is one gap, two gaps, three gaps, four gaps, five gaps, six gaps. And one final one to minus 32, seven gaps. So we're not dividing it by six boxes. We're dividing it by seven gaps. So 77, which is the big gap, divided by seven, which is how many mini gaps there are, is 11. And what that tells us is that each jump goes up in 11s. We're going up in 11s. Now, that is going to allow us to work out what goes in all the boxes between 45 and negative 32. But actually, 45 down to negative 32 means we must be going down in 11s. So we need to be subtracting 11. So we go minus 11, 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 minus 11. And now we just start knocking 11s off. So 45 take away 11. Well, the easiest way to take 11 off is to take 10 off, then another 1. So take 10 off would be 35, then another 1 would be 34. So the next box 34. Take 10 off would be 24, then another 1 would be 23. Take 10 off would be 13, then another 1 would be 12. Take 10 off would be 2, then another 1 would be 1. Well, we might as well just take the 1 off first this time to get us to 0, and then another 10. Take 1 off and then another 10, and that will be like taking 11 off. So take 1 off would be 0, take another 10 off would be negative 10. Take 10 off would be negative 20, and take another 1 off would be negative 21. Take 10 off would be negative 31, and another 1 would be negative 32, which is right. That's what we need to get to negative 32. So going the other way, if we're going down 11s that way, going the other way means we are adding 11 because we're going the opposite direction, you see. So 45 add 11, well, plus 10 first, 55, plus next to 1, 56. Same again, so plus 10 is 66, plus next to 1 is 67. So your final answer what's the first number in the sequence is this 67 and that's the answer to your question 67